RC Davis for Warriors.com with Cal Guard Justin Cobbs. How'd it go today? It went well today. Um, I mean, I had fun. Everybody competed. Uh, made shot, shot the ball really well. That's you know a big focus of mine. So um, it went well. Everybody competed. Um, played well in the three on three and uh, made some good passes. Show you know I'm a point guard out there and uh, I can move the ball, not gun open shots. Are you able to show your skills really in a three on three setting though? Uh, a little bit. You know, sometimes uh, you know the, the ball gets a little sticky. Guys wants to show what they can do, but also you just want to show you know you have a good basketball IQ, you know, show you make, a, make the right pass and uh, show you can knock down the open shots. And at my position, that's that's pretty much all I have to do and also defend. You're a natural scorer, but last year at Cal, you kind of went out of your way to get your teammates involved, didn't right. you? Uh, I really did. Um, just, you know, always trying to get my teammates involved. Uh, I had a lot of good players around me, so we we'll, were a better team when uh, we have, you know, multiple people in double figures. And I think I did a good job of getting everybody touches, getting everybody involved, and, that, and that's what the point guard's job is to do. You're described as a tough-nosed, good defender. Can you really show that in a in this kind of setting with just a couple other guys? Oh, uh, you can. Um, a lot of times the NBA is, you know, with a lot of spacing. So in a lot of spacing, it's just you and him. So in those situations, you just got to show you can keep a guy in front of you. You know, I'm a guard, so I'll get little quick guards that's six feet. You know, that's a little s smaller than I am. But uh, so I can move my feet and stay in front of those guys. So I think I, you can show your defense in this in this aspect. Anybody in the NBA you pattern your game after? Uh, I wouldn't say pattern, but I look up to like Russell Westbrook, uh, uh, Steph Curry's a great shooter, tremendous shooter, uh, knock down all shots, and uh, Kyle Larry just from his toughness. He's not going to back down for anybody, and uh, also a great player. You worked out for the Jazz. Have you worked out for anyone else before today? Uh, the Jazz, uh, Sacramento, uh, Milwaukee, Charlotte, Dallas, Houston, here. Uh, just came from Phoenix. Uh, so this was my eighth. Uh, I might be missing some teams, but this is my eighth workout. Was there uh, any consistency on their feedback? Did they all kind of point to the same thing, whether a strength right. or a weakness? Um, in the beginning of my workouts, I was shooting the ball really well, and then I had, I think one. I uh, went to Houston, and I and I was kind of it was a back to back. It was three back to back, so I was a little fatigued. Didn't shoot the ball as well as I wanted to, but uh, in all my all my workouts, I've been shooting the ball really well, showing I can knock down the NBA three. That was a like I said, a big emphasis of mine, and then uh, also. Um, the three on three, uh, showing I can score, showing I can make good passes and reading the pick and roll was, was something I did well. Back to backs, is that what goes first, your jumper? Yeah, back to back, you know, you lose your legs on these planes, a little jet lag, a little tired, uh, flying from east coast to west coast, uh, not getting that much sleep. But at the end of the day, you only get to do this experience one time, so you might as well cherish it. And, you know, if you got to only get three hours of sleep, then <laughs> so be it. <laughs> you transferred from Minnesota uh, to Cal there in Berkeley. What was it like sitting out in 2010? Was that just, I can't imagine. Yeah, it was tough. It was really tough. Um, you know, just you feel like you're not a part of the team. Uh, the team's gone having fun. You know, you see pictures on Twitter and Instagram and things like that. You just feel you just feel lost a little bit. So it was it was hard for me. And also that season was tough for them. Um, they didn't you know they didn't make the NCAA tournament. It was a little, but um, yeah, I learned a lot. Also, I learned you know you know you have to cherish that moment you're on the court. You know sometimes you take it for granted that this basketball stuff is gonna be here forever. And uh, I think you know that next year I really had a fire under my you know under me and that really pushed me to be a better player. What are the rules when you're a transfer? When you're a transfer sitting out, do you, are you allowed to work out with a team? Right. You just can't play in the games. Like, what are the rules? Uh, basically, you're just a practice player. Um, when, when the team's in town, practice. You know, everything's free for you to. You're you're part of the team. But as soon as they you know leave or travel, you, you have to stay in school, uh, go to all your classes. Um, you know, work out on your own because you know the coaches are gone. Uh, you know, strength coach is gone, so you're by yourself. So for those, you know, say if they leave on a road trip, they leave on a road trip Wednesday to Saturday. You're on your own from Wednesday to. Sundays until I come back so you have to find ways to you know still get your work in and still get better. So your coach at Minnesota was Tubby Smith, Tubby Smith. and then you had Mike Montgomery right. at Cal two coaches with NBA and international experience. Is there anything you're going to take away from those two coaches at this level? Uh, from Mike Montgomery I just took away a lot of just you know leadership things and he's taught me a lot about just showing that you can you can put together a team like you might I might put five guys out there you have to be that coach on the floor and understand you know where this guy has to be or with where this guy has to be or where this guy wants the ball and uh just be the leader on the floor and just you know make everything run and then from Tubby I just learned you know just toughness you know because you, you might hear some things you might not like with coach Smith so uh just <laughs> toughness mental toughness and uh, understand that whatever he says is, is for the better as a senior do you think you're slept on in this young 
draft? Yeah, because you know you always see the 18-year-olds and 19-year-olds. It's you know a lot of his potential. You know they say uh, when he's 19, he's not quite there. He might not be better than yet, but he has a chance to be. So that kind of you know rubs you the wrong way because you, you're taking another guy higher off of potential. But I mean that's that's what it's about. You know a lot of these young guys are talented and they are big time players. So uh, you know it rubs you the wrong way. But that's what this process is about showing that you can play with these players. So uh, like I said, this process is interesting. You get to go up against a lot of these players, so you have to show you better. A lot of times they say that a senior is what he is, that he right. has no upside at 21. Right. I would take it you don't agree with that. Uh, of course not. I mean, you see LeBron every year. He's come back better and better. And I mean, I know LeBron is a, a crazy species, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, even Steph Curry, he comes back better every year also. And he's, you know, I mean, I'm 22, I'm 23 now, but uh, he's uh, he's coming back better every year. So as a basketball player, I don't think you really stop getting better until you stop working. So uh, every year, every summer, I'm working, trying to get better, working at different things. So I don't think I don't think I've, I've reached my ceiling yet. So you're off to D.C. next. Work yep. out for the Wizards. Good luck there. Stay healthy. And thanks for coming on Warriors.com. I really appreciate it. Thanks. For Justin Cobbs, I'm R.C. Davis for Warriors.com.